Hey everybody, this is Link Jack 20. We're doing more of the Let's Play of Link to the Past. We're in the Tower of Hera. And kind of like how we, uh, well, we can't hit with our sword, but when we hit with our boomerang, this will switch. Which will switch the blocks. Let's do it again. Bam. Now, we got a key in the last episode, so we're going to use it on this door to get actually one of the one of the like really important op items in the game, well in this dungeon, sorry not in the whole game, no in the dungeon really quickly, and what do we have here? Oh, it's one of these things again. No, 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 you're not gonna get me, because I know what to do now. Uh, okay, some of these should be getting me, I, I don't know why, like, ooh, okay, that, that one's definitely, okay, good, okay, that one should have got me. Okay, not letting these two get the better of me. Ooh. Oh, oh boy, not good, no, oh boy, this, this is actually going better than the second dungeon, but still, this is getting pretty close, and uh, this should be the last one, okay, when they all are done, then the door opens, good, let's hit the switch and move on our way, oh, some more of these little buggy things, I don't know what their names are, I know what the boss's name is, but I don't know what the actual enemies are. I barely know what any of the enemies' names are. There, there are some that are like always in every single Zelda game. Like, oh my, I'm actually getting my butt kicked by these little wormies. Oh my god, I'm already at one health. These things actually do like, these guys actually do one damage, one heart in each damage, so you gotta be really careful. Got magic. Ooh, one pot hit there. Oh, I'm definitely getting that. Man, this beeping is never going to stop. Get out of here. Arrows. Blah. All right, now get the chest up here. Use your lamp to light up all these torches. And ta-da! And just like that, we have the big key. Now we could walk all the stairs way up, but instead of walking all the way back to the entrance, I might as well just be lazy and use this mirror. And there you have it. Magic for the lazy men. Alright, now we're gonna go upstairs now and start working our way up this tower. But yeah, I barely know what any of these monsters are. All I know is just what the boss's names are. Okay, now, this dungeon has a little trick to it. See these holes? And see how that guy just fell down there? They're alright, they, but they kind of bounce you no matter how you hit them. So watch this. And if you fall down one of these holes, you'll actually fall down a floor. And it doesn't get quite as annoying now, but it, it, trust me, later in the dungeon, this is going to be one of the most annoying parts of this entire dungeon. No joke. Okay, so I'm just gonna... See, I don't even hit him on the wall, he's pushing me back. Sheesh. Ooh, bomb there. Won't complain with that. I don't even know what color that switch needs to be. I'm just gonna go with that right for right now. Move on to the other side. Now these star panels, we can click them. Whoa. That was lucky. When you click on the, f the places where the holes in the floor are, they'll switch. See, they'll change like that. Hmm. What to talk about today? Let's keep on going here, but... Um... I really don't know what to talk about. Um... Oh, I found out a way I'll probably be able to get a capture card soon. That'll, that'll be good to hear. Hopefully I'll be happy it within the month, or half a month, at least, it should be half a month, whoa, I'm, I'm probably gonna sit there, we go. I don't want to be a full month, because I know then, I'm gonna start, I, I know I'm probably gonna, I'm definitely gonna finish this Let's Play within a month, and I'm probably not gonna have much else to do afterwards, which is gonna be kind of a shame from there, so that switch, keep moving, but... I just think it'll be fun to like do console games. I would think I don't know what to do. Like I have a PlayStation 2 and I have an, an N64 for like you know the old console generation, but I really don't know like what games I could do. Like a game I really wanted to do a Let's Play was Kingdom Hearts because I, I remember playing that like when I was like, like back when I was like 10 and such, and I love that game me a while because I wasn't really good at, uh, I don't know if you would call that JRPG, I don't even know if you would call it an RPG, it's not really that turn-based, but it just, oh, I just never, well, 
I, I, I need a little bit of help, but now I probably would, would ace that most of the time. Oh, it's again that hard. Yeah, I don't know, like, but I really want to do that. That's just one of the things I like to do. Ooh, we get the compass here. And, uh, we have a Sasha panel. So, wonder what the Sasha panel will say. Norm knows the moon pearls in this. Gosh dang, we already know all this. But yeah, I've always, yeah, I've always wanted to do Kingdom Hearts. I have Kingdom Hearts 2, but Kingdom Hearts 2 always seems to, like, just go on the fritz. Like, it'll play, and then the CD, the disc, I, I've, I've gone through, like, two Kingdom Hearts discs. I think, actually, I'm on the third one now. I've already gone through two of them, and it always starts to get scratched for some reason. I've had my PS2 checked over, and it doesn't scratch any disc, but when it starts playing that game, it just goes, on, just goes berserk on me. But, I played all of Kingdom Hearts 2, and pretty much I think they're, they're both really good games. Oh boy. Okay, I'm definitely going to keep these guys at bay now. The red little tentacle monsters, they take a crap load more hits than the blue guys. Like, the blue guys are doing like three hits, I think. Red guys, they take like eight. Which is insane. But, and I don't know if it'd be considered too young or too childish, but another series that I always kind of liked when I was a kid was the Sly Cooper series. Sly Cooper and Thieves, Raccoon is, Band of Thieves, I think, oh, I forget what the last one was called, but so, oh, I go talking and not paying attention, but I've always wanted to try that Let's Play. I don't know if some people will kind of look down upon and say, ah, I wouldn't say ah, I'm saying like, why the heck are you doing this? This is too easy, but... I just, frankly, I just like that series. It's just saying that I got into it. Uh... Okay, so now I'm gonna see if I can find some hearts. Any hearts? Nope, no hearts. Okay, there I go. Ah, went off on a tangent again. Or where I call them off ramps. Just going on your regular conversation and off ramp for like about five minutes and on again. Okay, we're gonna be getting the. Um, you hit that switch and then you're gonna fall down in this hole from the top. Has to be from the top. And you'll ooh, right, right there if you okay and we get the moon pearl finally gosh everyone's been hyping it up and we get it now you want to go from the top because if you go from the bottom you'll land on those on those star platforms and you'll just have to you'll just you, you'll just be moving backwards in progress not really going any forward anyway um there's like over there there's jack and daxter i love the jack and daxter series um Kind of a shame that they're now starting to. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I really want all that stuff because it could like help me get my hearts and stop this incessant beeping. So you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. I'm going to move back a couple moves. I'm going to get that switch because I want that stuff. Anyway, but it's those games. Um, let's see for the Wii. I ha I do. Oh, I do. Well, my brother has a Wii, and so we kind of share it. But um. game I would definitely like to do is, well, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, which is pretty much what you're seeing right now, just obviously better graphics and better story, well, story that's easier to follow, uh, I guess. Well, anyway, but, uh, for some reason that's the only game I can really think about, like, I've heard, I've had some people say, do like the story mode of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, but like, I don't know, I don't know, it seems like you get too repetitive. I can do a co-op with that, maybe, like, if I have one of my friends come over, we like, do a co-op let's play. I've heard, I've heard that is usually co-op. Alright, enough talking. We're on to the boss. And it's one of those big bug things, and his name is Moldorm, I believe, and this is, it's not a hard boss, it's just annoying, because... The, the, the it's weak points his tail, and if he hits you, he bounces you far. And if you land in the pit, crap like what you're seeing right now starts happening. And the worst part is, is that sorry, I like breathing in the microphone. Worst part is, is that um, if you get knocked down, you have to start the boss battle all over again. Doesn't matter if you had two hits or five hits on him. You have to start all the way from the beginning, which is why this boss just kind of gets... It doesn't get annoying as it gets just plain tedious. And really just goes on forever. So... That's why um, I may have to speed this part up, but I'm going to give one more shot. And if I get it really good, 
And we're just gonna go with it. Not gonna go yet. Okay, there we go. Sometimes I'll just take things. I'm not gonna... One of the safest places to be is by this little bridge here, because maybe then if he hits you, you just get knocked into the edge and you'll... Like that, you'll just have a little leeway room, but... If anything, keep your distance from him. Like, try and goad him into going one direction, then quickly get him as he loops around. Don't, like, don't get too overzealous or whatever. What, what the is the word? Like, almost like cocky, and too many people say that. Don't get, yeah, don't get overconfident with this battle. Like, it can go from decent to piece of crap in, like, less than a couple, less than a couple seconds. So, keep your distance, play it safe, get a hit in. There is no way you're going to be able to get two hits in on this guy in a row, because, have you seen, he pulls the tail in quickly. So, once you get hit in, get your distance, because as you see, he starts speeding up, and he just starts going crazy all over the place. Blech. I Oh my gosh, I should have fallen there. Okay, okay, come on, come on, no. Ooh, got another hit in. I think it takes like maybe eight, maybe nine hits to take him out. Not really counting. Oh, dang it, Morty, he's starting to get low on health. Oh boy, oh boy. So this gets go. Oh my god. One more hit and I'm dead. I, I'm serious. One more hit and I'm down. Oh. Oh my god. Oh crap, he got me. No. Wait, wait. Oh my god, I forgot about that fairy I got all that time. Dang. Oh, I, th I think I may have just been saved here. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, okay, oh, whoa, no, no, I'm not gonna fall down after that. This is just getting too much, too epic right now. Oh boy, oh, oh, oh. Yes! Oh my god, I got him. Victory pose, whoosh. I don't know. That's probably not that much of a victory pose, just a spin, but. Oh, that can, that is just about as close as it gets, for my folks, now. So, finish this dungeon, and get another piece of heart. I believe that's now one, one rogue, oh no, wait, we got the Pendant of Wisdom, yeah, so now we have all three pendants. Now we must go to the Lost Woods and get the Master Sword. And now all that's left is, um, I think one more heart in the first row, because, yeah, there's 20, there's 20 heart containers you can get in the game. Oh, don't hit me on my way out. Just know I am. I'm Jack. I've defeated your te uh, tower. I almost said temple, dang, tower. Anyway, so we're gonna head our way to Kakariko Village again. I'm gonna cut the video out here just to make sure I have all the time. Okay, the time's good. Now. Gonna head on our way back to the village, and I'm actually gonna check on one last thing, which is see if that magic powder is done yet, because I've been waiting on that thing since like the third episode, and it has not been done. Like I said, uh, I remember you had to talk to the witch outside, and if you had the mushroom, and then after a while, you, sh you should have been able to talk to the witch outside and get it after the f first dungeon. I don't know what's been taking so dang long. So you know what? I'm gonna head on my way over there because hey, crows, get away. Don't want your stinking rupee. I already know a good grinding spot for the rupees. It's that gray house in the village. The one where we found like one of our first heart pieces in that episode a long time ago. Where the thieves used to hang out, I believe. But that's that's a good grinding spot because the blue rupees usually respawn. But anyway. Just gonna keep heading down. I'm gonna go and check up on the magic powder, see if it's done. Whoa, get away you guys, get away. Ow. Ow. I'm amazed like Link hasn't like, like I, I understand how he has the heart power and everything, but how the heck does he not like have any broken limbs or impalement wounds? Gosh dang it. Oh, I might as well check and see if I can get a potion or something. I haven't got one yet in a while. Wait a minute. What? You're kidding, right? Yes, I know, but you're saying... Uh, gosh dang it! All I had to do is just come back and just walk in and pick it up, my god! Fine, I'm Lucky Jack 20, I'm doing Let's Play Link to the Past, we're gonna get the Master Sword, gosh dang it! This sucks! 